going on guys welcome back to the channel back at this job today at joel's house uh, i gotta finish spreading the rest of this fill and topsoil more or less the topsoil um last time i was here i knocked a ton of this fill out there was probably over 120 150 ton here you could see how big the spot is but uh i got all that he wanted it put over here he actually had changed his plans at first. He just wanted to put this uh, topsoil over here. And after I'd filled that low spot back there with the fill and seen how much fill we had left, he decided that he wanted to put the rest of it right here or as much as we could. So this was all super low here. It dropped down quite a bit right here after the house. And it was just all low, all the way out to his shed there. Last time I was here, I just worked on filling that in and using up as much of this fill as I could. Um, so now all we're left with is a little pile here, maybe, I don't know, maybe 10, 10 15 ton what i'm gonna do today is start with this fill again and he just wants me to use as much as i can today there's a spot over here that he wants me to use it on there's like a little valley right here and it kind of dips in um i think there was like a water line or something put in here years ago so i'm gonna fill this in here this little valley and then i'm also gonna fill this in here with it and uh, use some there and then back over here by his house it's really low right next to his garage so this is like a big dip right here. So I'd like to put some in here too for him. Um, I already did put a bunch here because this was like a big dip. So I'd like to continue on that and just kind of spread it out so that that's not as much of a dip. So after I'm all finished up with that, I'm gonna start moving this topsoil. So this topsoil is gonna be going on top of all this fill that I laid out. So I'm gonna start over here and spread it all out here, get this as level and graded as I can with that topsoil. So hopefully when I'm done today, this will all look like a nice big yard. And if I have any of this topsoil left at the end of the day, I will be putting some on these roots right here. He wants me to cover up these roots because I guess he's hitting them with his lawnmower a lot and it's just a pain in the butt to mow around. So you can see all these roots here. So I'll be spreading it thin there and trying to get these roots covered up. Um, so yeah, hopefully we got enough fill for all this. I'm gonna get to work on this guys and I'll take you along for the ride.
that big dip in it. And then I'm getting towards the end of this uh, fill pile, so I'm left with nothing but clay. You know, I picked through it as much as I could this whole time, you know, from the beginning of the pile to now. And uh, all that's left now is just a ton of clay and rocks, and so it's getting harder and harder to spread. Uh, but it turned out all right. Should be all done with the fill now. And now we can get on to spreading this topsoil over here and out back.
guys, but I got all the topsoil spread, this green topsoil. I told them I would move this, uh, the rest of this fill pile. Uh, pretty much all that's left here is clay, rock, you know, and debris. So he wants me to stick it over there in the woods with the pile that I was throwing all the uh, overgrowth off into. And uh, so I'm gonna do that now. And when I finish up, I'll show you guys where I'm at. guys finally done with this job Whew. I tell you that was a lot of dirt to move I think that's the most amount of dirt I've ever moved in you know just two three days time that was a lot of topsoil a lot of fill um, but that whole pile is gone and you can see this huge spot from where that huge pile was at um, now starting over here there was a bunch of bumps and stuff that I filled um, I didn't have time to carry the camera around with me because uh, I was just bouncing all over the place because um, he had a bunch of little holes and divots that he wanted me to fill with the rest of the topsoil that was left. Um, so that's what I did. So I got all this filled. This was really bad and through here. Um, you guys had seen me in the beginning of the day put some fill in here and I laid some topsoil on top of it after. Now it's got a nice slope coming off the house. Looks really nice. You can see where it was high. Um, over here, I added a bunch of topsoil. This was like a huge divot. It's like a ditch in here. It's like his walkway. And there was also a ditch coming through here. So now this is all nicely sloped. It all just kind of blends in now. Um, this is where the topsoil was at. I got that all nice and smooth, graded out. Raked around everything. Um, raked around the patio and whatnot. Kind of hand raked around the trees. I covered up all the roots by the trees. They were really bad. They came out really far. So I got them all covered up for him. So now he can mow around them without bouncing all over the place. And then this is pretty much the main event here. A lot of dirt spreading. It's a big area. It's pretty much his entire backyard. Let's see how big that is. Turned out really nice. He's super happy with it. Super, super happy. He says he couldn't thank me enough. So that's really good because that's my biggest goal is just making sure they're happy. So I'm glad he's happy with it. Got it all the way down to his shed there. Back up to the house. Everything that was low is now filled. Looks really nice in between these trees now. Just turned out really, really nice. And back over here, this is what this looks like. This is what I did on the first day. And this was just fill that I laid in here and I had picked a bunch of stuff out of it to make it look nicer and graded it out the best I could. It actually almost looks like topsoil, you know, once I got done with it. So he's really happy with that too. He's just gonna see what happens to this now. Come spring next year, he's gonna see where the water goes and whether or not he's gonna want me back to dig like a trench to go to that ditch, depending on if this fills back up with water again or, or what's gonna happen. So 
Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I'll show you guys where I started today. As I did put some fill over here too. A couple big divots that he had. Right here, this was one big divot that he had. I think it was from a water line. That was all really low, so I filled that in with the fill. Towards the end of that pile, one of the reasons it was left over from that huge mountain that I had to start with was because the farther I got into the pile, the more crap I found in the fill, the more clay I found. So I was happy to you know, find enough to be able to do this for him and actually have it turn out halfway decent. And this is a new well that he put in. I think that's why this was low here, probably from digging the well. So that turned out nice. And you can see over here how nice it looks in between the trees and going out. Everything slopes up real nice all the way up to his house. It was a big project, man. Pretty big job for that little BX. They're not really nice, guys. So I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna head home and uh, get some rest. I gotta do another job tomorrow, I think. So I gotta go back to Sean's house and he needs a pad dug for his um, for his new shed. He got the Amish building him a shed, so. He needs a pad built for that, so I'll probably be up there tomorrow doing that. Um, if not, next weekend. So you'll see more videos coming soon, guys. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.